Ellie, you know, I don't, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong, okay, in, in how they should approach you and approach the situation, okay? Um, now, what I, I mean, my immediate thought was that uh, um, you had a teacher that, for whatever reason, may not even have a clue that you went to due process and, and resolved anything through mediation, especially if it's a science teacher. Uh, you know, so much of what I do is a need to know, and, and a lot of these school districts don't feel like anybody outside of a very small group of people need to know that the parent ever had a due process or a mediation. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've had parents come to me and go, you know, this, the, the, the aide or the teacher had no idea that we had a binding uh, settlement or a mediation agreement, that they were a part, you know, that where, where that teacher or aide was, it was a part of the terms that the school was supposed to uh, meet. So how was the school supposed to meet those terms if the teacher or the staff had no idea of what it is that the district agreed to do? But I tell you, it happens time and time and time again. I can't tell you how many parents come to me and say they talk to the, the science teacher, the math teacher, and they didn't even know that their child had an IEP. I mean, there is just rampant ignorance occurring inside of our public schools. And, and so much of it is just innocent. It's not intense, it's just ignorance. It's just innocent ignorance. It doesn't make it right. But what it should do is it should make you at least give you some comfort that it's not some intentional conspiracy to sit there and screw you over. And I can tell you that's like 85% of school problems. It's just not based in anything intentional or malicious. Uh, there are those school districts out there led by very evil people um, that get some sick willies out of this, you know, but that's, those are rare instances. Most of the time, it's just a school stubbing its toes. You know, you have a bunch of employees, you have a bunch of things, you have a, a hierarchy that, that depending on where you are in that hierarchy, it just isn't functioning like it's supposed to, to where information is being, you know, distributed like it, like people up here think it is, or that it was ever intended to. So in this particular situation, yes, they cannot change your child's classroom or classes if your child has an IEP um, without coming to you to sit there and discuss that need to, to change. Now, I say that with the caveat in there of, you know, I haven't seen your child's IEP. I haven't seen what, uh, um, you know, what the schedule is, and I don't know what the parameters of of the state of California is with regards to that flexibility, but it doesn't mean that even if those rules were there to where they can make those adjustments through something called administrative convenience, which is in the law, uh, but it just sort of depends on how it's used. So I'm, I'm saying that, that I believe I'm correct in how I'm explaining this, but at the same time, I don't practice in California. So I'm confident I'm correct, but you need to just double check on this stuff. But what I am absolutely correct on is that you as an IEP team member can send an email, make a call, request another meeting before this change occurs. And even if the changes occur, undo the change. And you may find out that this science teacher just was clueless. And it's something that could very easily be undone. And I'm sure that what the school may say and that they haven't already is that it was a mistake and it was an error and apologize and commit to do better. Um, I would exhaust that point uh, before ever moving into more of a, you know, oh my God, we're going to do this again or oh my God, we wasted uh, all that time and due process. When, you know, walk through the stupid stuff first, because you may find out that most of this is just stupid stuff and um, it is a combination of just misunderstandings and ignorance. And those things can be educated out of people. 
All right. That's the wonderful thing about, you know, things that are not nefarious and malicious in heart is they can be corrected. Um, okay, so you did email her and CC the principal and you should also go up the chain to the special education heads, all right? Because those are the ones you had to work with over on your due process. So I understand the respect given to the principal and to your staff down here, but when it's something this big, uh-uh, you need to copy the, the head cheeses as well, all right? Because their interest is to keep out of another um, um, dogfight with you in the form of due process or mediation, okay? That is the motivation. These schools don't like to do that. It costs a lot of money.